amazing primer and I highly recommend it and I do rate it a 10 out of 10 it looks good like it's a really hot day here in Maryland and I've been up and down all over the place and my face looks super amazing it doesn't look cakey it doesn't look oily and I do have very dry skin I do sweat obviously like my nose area will start sweating my forehead just a tiny bit um, and it looks good so I highly do recommend this primer and I hope you guys get a chance to try it out it's on FentyBeauty.com and if you guys want to see how I applied my primer and foundation and the rest of my face, just keep on watching. Alright guys, so I have nothing on my face, but I did do my eye makeup. I put my eyebrows on, a little bit of shadow, a little bit of wing liner, and some lashes. So for moisturizer, I'm taking one of my favorite moisturizers by Sekisei. This is the Herbal Gel Moisturizer. And I love this stuff for my dry skin. My skin is very dry, but you guys, it is so hot outside. I'm about to tell you guys how hot it is. I'm going to take a little bit of a moisturizer because even though it's really hot, I still need to moisturize my skin. So there's a heat advisor here in Maryland and I mean it's been very hot these days but for three days it's going to be like super sunny and hot. Right now it's 12 p.m. on the dot and it's 90 degrees. It's supposed to hit 96 but it's supposed to feel like 105. So I felt like today was a perfect day to test out this primer by Fenty Beauty. And this is the Pro Filter Mattifying Primer, True Matte Primer. So, I never tried the original Pro Filter uh, Primer, so I cannot compare it to that one. I have tried Fenty Beauty's foundation and concealer, and I'm obsessed with it. So, on the box, it claims that it is a shine-stopping, pore-diffusing finish, extended makeup wear primer. And I love, like... Fenty Beauty's packaging, I think it's amazing. Here's what it says on the Fenty Beauty website because I believe this primer is only online at the moment. So we're gonna see what it says. Details it says that it is a shine stopping pore diffusing finish. It's a next level mattifying primer for a combination to oily skin that works instantly to deliver maximum all day shine control while improving and extending a foundation wear. I have tried the Fenty Beauty. Uh, foundation and I've tried it with so many different primers I do feel like at the end of the day I get a tiny bit shiny I am on the dry side so I only get a tiny bit shiny which I don't mind so I love the foundation by itself one of the hottest days here in Maryland so we're gonna see how this works of course Fenty Beauty's packaging is like super cute I love their packaging it's one of my favorite packagings of all times and this is the primer right here it does have like that little light dusty pink lid and the primer itself is a white so when you pump it it does have like this milky like consistency so I'm going to apply it in the areas where I feel will get shiny and oily throughout the day my nose area and like this area right here I'm going to like pat it and like blend it a little bit it feels very soft Kind of feels like a lotion it's not thick though um very lightweight which is good it blends really nice it's not getting like crummy like some primers do and yeah i feel like it blended very nice with my fingers i love to apply primers with my fingers this and i do recommend you applying it with your fingers so you can feel the amount of product that's going onto your face so we're gonna see how this works on my cheeks because if anything my cheeks are a little on the drier side so I'm going to apply it like right here where I have some pores the majority of the product I just put is like right here but I'm just spreading out whatever's left on my fingers it feels fine a little bit tacky but not too crazy so now I'm going to put on the foundation and they actually sent over another foundation I was in the shade 240 originally um, but I got tan so now I'm in 255 and it matches And then I'm going to take 210, which is lighter than 255, and just apply it right over. 
All right, so now I'm just gonna brighten up the center of my face with 210. Uh, I forgot how much I love this concealer with this foundation so far everything looks amazing and I'm super 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 excited I'm gonna set my um, concealer with the Dermablend translucent I'm just gonna dust off any excess powder and I only put powder underneath my eyes I don't think I'm going to put powder anywhere else just to see how this primer goes with this foundation but so far I feel like I look very matte but not cakey and not dry and I really like how my forehead looks I mean it just looks like the makeup is going to stay put hopefully it does um, because I'm not going to set the foundation I know that's kind of scary and hopefully it doesn't feel uncomfortable in the heat and apply some mascara to my lower lashes. Alright guys, so I put my bronzer and I loved how my bronzer blend it onto my foundation this is actually my first time trying out this bronzer it's uh, the Anastasia uh, bronzer in saddle I needed a new bronzer and I asked you guys I do want to get more because I love bronzer and I literally had so many and now I just literally ran out I only had one but I do like this bronzer a lot so I'm still testing it out I'm kind of glad that it worked out with this combination <coughs> of products so for blush i've been obsessed with the ofra cosmetics bellini brush blush and i love to use my sigma e oh no f50 dual fiber brush for uh blush because it deposits a small amount of blush without looking too like heavy because i don't like a heavy blush but i've been obsessed with like these baby pink blushes and they just look really really cute in person and in photos as well I have to use my Fenty Beauty lip gloss. If you guys have never tried the Fenty Beauty lip glosses, you guys need to get on it because I promise you it's going to be like your all-time favorite lip gloss. It's just super cute and I love how it smells. I love how it feels. I love the colors and I think it's an amazing product. It really just smoothed out my pores. It really did. I did apply it here. And I normally get dry hair, but you guys, it just, my skin looks very plump. And my forehead looks hella smooth. Can I zoom in a little bit? My skin looks very smooth. I'm like shocked right now. I do want to see how it wears. So I'm going to wear it throughout the day. Um, but... <laughs> It's so smooth, I want to cry. Like, I literally want to cry right now. Oh my god. This is insane. Am I going to cry? Am I on my period? It's a really good, like, combination of how, like, I just like how my cheeks look. Um, my forehead isn't, like, super, like, pory, I guess you can say. Like, there's not a lot of pores on my forehead. But I do have a lot of pores right here. And every time I put, like, my makeup on, I feel like you can really see the pores. Concealer, like, I put a little bit of the primer right here, and the concealer, like, I blended it out a little downward, and it looks really good and smooth and flawless. And I also get smile lines like crazy. I don't know if it's a primer that's helping me with my smile lines, but they're barely there. So, so far, like, I'm obsessed with this primer. Like, I already know the foundation works because I've used it before, but like I said, it does make me a little bit shiny. 
if I wear it for a long time. And that was like my summer foundation last year, so I know how it works in the heat. But I never use it with this primer, obviously, because it's new. So I'm excited to see what my face is going to look like later in the day. So as of right now, it looks amazing. So I'm obsessed with it. But let's just see. Let's put it to the test. <sighs> We're going to see how this foundation and primer holds up throughout the day. So I will see you guys later and let you guys know how I feel about this. I'll see you soon. I don't even know if you guys can see the time. This lighting is insane. 4.36. And I just woke up from a nap. I know. You wouldn't even believe it. I slept on this side. But I feel like everything is still there. You guys tell. I feel like it looks fine. I still feel completely matte. But, I mean, I'm not oily. Because where I see shiny, like my cheeks and stuff. I put highlight there, obviously. My forehead's like... It's not oily and it's not completely, completely matte, but it looks amazing still. I'm going to check in with you guys like in three hours or so. So like at 7.30, that'll make it about like seven hours of wearing this just to see how it looks. Hey guys, so it is 7.07 and my makeup still looks amazing. I really wanted to wait till later today to give you guys an update, but it's been seven hours. And so far, it's looking amazing. I mean, what do you guys think? That's it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have not got your hands on the new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Matte Primer, definitely check it out online. I'll put the link down below for you guys. And I believe it will be in stores on August 15th. Not 100% sure if that's accurate, but it is online on FentyBeauty.com as of right now. Let me know what you guys think about it. I, I honestly feel like it looks amazing, and I'm really excited. So that is it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.